So I make these split crosses from three inches of half inch square mild steel bar. The first thing I always like to do is take some blue dicum and cover two sides so that the scribe lines show up a little bit better. And once that dries from one end, you're going to scribe a line at one inch all the way across. Then from that same end, I'm going to scribe a second line at two and a quarter inches. Again, all the way across the bar. Then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees to the second side, turn it around. From this new end, I'm going to mark another line at one and a quarter inches. Now these lines, I'm going to be cutting this bar in half from this end to this line. And then on this side, I'm going to cut it in half all the way up to the second line so that these two cuts overlap. Then I'm going, where this is cut in half, I'm going to cut halfway across here to remove this small chunk on the end. And that'll be our blank for the split cross. So now that we have our blank for the split cross all cut out, now it's time to heat it up and start to unfold it. You notice how this cut overlaps the second cut by about a half inch. You want these cuts to overlap about the same as the thickness of the material that you are using. So if you're making a cross out of one inch square bar, that overlap needs to be one inch. On this half inch, the overlap is about half an inch. I'm going to start by using a hot cut hardy to begin spreading the arms and the top and the bottom of the cross apart. Now I always spread the end with the long leg first. I find it goes a little bit easier that way. Got to kind of work it into that groove. Hammer it all the way down on the hardy. Now grab it, flip it over, get a good hold of it, the long leg and the tongs. Find the cut on the other end. And I always hammer on the top of the long leg to get it started. And I'll alternate back and forth. Now I'll come over to the edge of the anvil, spread it a little bit further here, go back and open up this side a little bit more, again over the edge of the anvil, and 
hammer right in the center to get that to lay flat. Now it is flat, but you'll notice that it's not quite symmetrical. It's a little bit off to one side. It's a little bit crooked. So I'm going to, next heat, I'm going to drop this down into the hardy hole with one arm down in the hole, hitting the top one to try and correct that crookedness as much as possible. Drop. Start with this arm first. That a little straighter. And go from the other side a little. Well, that looks that looks pretty good. Fairly symmetrical. Now, I always like to come in with a flatter and flatten out all these ridges in the center. Make it nice and smooth and even. Now I always use a little bit lower heat when I'm using the flatter. I find it helps prevent some damage if you happen to get a little bit crooked. There we go. Now it's nice and flat. No more ridges in the center. Now comes the part where you can take this and make it your own thing, your own design. Make it a little more decorative than this plain, square, blocky cross. What I always like to do is take the cross peen end of the hammer and flare out these ends like a fishtail and leaving the cross peen marks in there. I'm going to take one leg and hang that one right next to the edge of the anvil. I'm going to start in the center with the cross peen with the knot started and slowly move out to one edge and around over to the other edge. And that'll give you that nice, flared out, fishtail kind of look to it. Now I just got to do the other three, and this will be done. I just need, now I just need to wire brush all the scale off of it and I'll probably put a little bit of brass on it and this will be done. There we go. That is how I forge a small split cross.